Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us first at four. I'm Christy Casciano. Classes haven't even started yet, and already students on the SU Hill are raising questions, concerns, and according to SU leaders, possibly ruining the semester. A viral video showing a large group of students on the quad last night. News Channel Line's Nicole Somavilla working this story for us today. And Nicole, the university has put out plenty of warnings to the students um, not to do this. So now what happens? Yeah, it certainly did. And the university is calling it not only reckless, but selfish behavior that happened on the quad last night. In case you haven't seen the video, we are going to show it to you now. It looks like a number of students, dozens of students gathering on the quad. Some students here today have told me at least 100 people were there. Now, SU has given us the statement, they same, the same one that they gave to the students, which says they are first-year students, and what you're looking at right now could have jeopardized their chances at experiencing college on campus. The letter also says there may have been enough damage to shut down campus before the semester begins on Monday. And I have called, I've emailed the university, I've tried to get some clarification on that. At this point, it does not seem like they will be making any changes to that in-person learning schedule. I will also share with you a quote from the university's vice chancellor. It reads, quote, the world is watching. They expect you to fail. Prove them wrong. Be better. Be adults. Think of someone other than yourself and also do not test the resolve of this university to take swift action to prioritize the health and well-being of our campus and the central New York community. Now that was part of that letter that was sent out to the entire Syracuse community. DPS also investigating. They're looking at surveillance video trying to pinpoint the individuals who were here last night and if they can identify them, they will be faced with the code of conduct, which also states that you are not supposed to be in gatherings of more than 25 people. I will also remind you that just a couple of weeks ago, a number of students in the SU community were suspended because they did not follow and they violated that 14-day mandatory quarantine. Of course, we will be following this and we'll have another update for you at 5. Live on the SU Hill, Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9.